The Senate has resolved to set up an ad hoc committee to investigate factors impeding the completion of the Centenary City Abuja project. This followed the motion of sponsored by Senator Yisha Olelula. National Assembly correspondent Mariam Zakari has details. The Senate specifically asked the committee to review the original public-private partnership agreement and recommend amendments, if necessary, to facilitate smooth and expeditious completion of the projects within the defined time frame. It also urged the federal government to prioritize the revival of the Abuja Centenary City project by providing appropriate support, resolving regulatory issues and addressing any other impediments, given its beneficial potential to the economy and the people of Nigeria after 10 years of failed progress. The motion tagged urgent need to revive and complete the stalled Centenary Abuja project drew attention of the Senate to the fact that the original estimated investment for the Abuja Centenary Economic City project was $18.5 billion as of 2014, equivalent to the size of Nigeria's national budget as at today's exchange rate. The motion was sponsored by the Deputy Majority Leader, Senator Yisa Ashiru Oyewala. It is an urgent need to revive and complete the stalled Centenary City Project Abuja to realize its intrinsic economic and development potential. The original estimated investment for Abuja Centenary Economic City Project was 18.5 billion United States dollars. Supporting the motion, Senators Aline Dume and Issa Jibrin said given the economic viability of the motion, it should be given the needed boost to see that the abandoned project is completed within the life of the 10th Senate. I agree solely that the committee on the FCT, I don't think there's a need to have an ad hoc committee. I don't, I don't support this idea of any issue that comes up, you set up ad hoc committee, ad hoc committee. As it is today, given the state of Nigerian economy, given the abysmal uh, revenue base of Nigerian economy today, I don't think the federal government is in a position to inject any additional fund into that place. In his remarks, the president of the Senate, Senator Godswill Akpabio said completing the project will serve as a potential economic hub with a plan to create jobs as well as residential accommodation for the congested city of Abuja. I don't think the federal government has spent money on it. Uh, and uh, outside maybe acquisition of the land or something for it. But uh, it's such a, a fantastic idea that even Saudi Arabia is building a new city now. So Abuja is already getting congested. And uh, if this is done, I think it will help. So we must take it very seriously. Still at plenary, the Senate mandated its Committee on Works to interact with the Minister of Works to address the urgent need to expedite the completion of Wadil Gaya Dute Carriage Road. This followed the adoption of a motion by Senator Kau Sumaila and supported by Senators Anjuma Goje and Kakashe Hulawan. The motion was read a second time and referred to the Committee on Works to report back within four weeks. Mariam Zakari, ADBN News.